Hello everyone and welcome to Streaming Tech Now. Are you looking for a brand new streaming device? Well, look no further. I have the top five devices that I recommend personally. And as you probably know, I've used a ton of different devices and these five are my five favorites. And by the way, some of these are running some amazing deals right now. So stick around because I'm gonna quickly show you those coming up next. All right, first up is the TiVo Stream 4K. Now, some people call this the little brother to the NVIDIA Shield, and I can definitely see that. Now, this is one of my absolute favorite devices. It runs so smooth. I love the remote control, the interface, and guys, for $29.99, it's hard to beat. I constantly recommend this. I always get positive feedback on this device. Obviously, everyone is going to have different needs. You're going to have some people that just want to stream. You have others that are looking for a device for hardcore gaming. It can handle some basic gaming, but this is really more for the person that just wants to stream. This is going to come with 8 gigabytes of internal storage out of the box, but you can easily add more internal storage if you want. This uses Amlogic S905Y2 processor, 2 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM. It has Bluetooth 4.2. It runs the Android TV interface, and it's fully Google certified, so it's going to have the Play Store, the Google Assistant. It's going to have Chromecast built in. It runs 4K Netflix with no problems. Even though this doesn't have the most powerful specs, it's fine-tuned, and it consistently runs very smooth. It normally sells for $50, but not too long ago, they went down to $40, and now you can actually get it for $29.99, which is an outstanding deal. I will have links for each of these in the video description if you're in the market for a new device. Okay, so next up is the all-new Fire TV Stick 4K Max. Now, this recently was released that takes the extremely popular 4K Fire Stick to the next level. Now, although for some, it may not warrant that Max name, and I can see that. With an increase of RAM to 2 gigabytes, it unfortunately keeps the same 8 gigabytes of internal storage, but you can easily add more if you want. This has Wi-Fi 6, but you'll need a compatible router in order to take advantage of that. It has Dolby Atmos. It increases the CPU to 1.8 gigahertz. This is going to sell very well. But if I'm being honest, I would have loved if they would have increased that internal storage to 16 gigabytes. I mean, come on, Amazon. But in any case, this normally sells for $55. But if you act fast, you can actually grab this for $35, which is a tremendous value, if not the best value of all the options. Now, a lot of people ask me, do you notice a big difference in the prior 4K model and this new Max version? And I say, well, if you have a Wi-Fi 6 router, you'll notice a definite speed jump. Things do load a bit faster, but is it enough? I would say at $35, it's a no-brainer. Go for the new Max. But if it's at $55 and you can pick up the prior 4K version for $25, maybe just go with that one. That one is plenty fast and it runs very smooth. Let me know what you think in the comments. Do you have both of these devices and do you notice a big difference? Let us know in the comments. I know a bunch of you guys are on the fence which one to buy. So if you have one, they're going to want to hear from you. Next up is the Google Chromecast with Google TV. Now, I use this as a daily driver in our bedroom. We absolutely love this. The remote is too small, though. It's extremely slippery. And I remember laughing at Tech Doctor UK comparing it to a bar of soap because it, I can definitely see that. It's just way too small and slippery. But I purchased one of those textured covers for a couple dollars, and it solved the problem. Now, this runs on Google TV interface, which out of all of the interfaces, Fire OS, Android TV, the Google TV interface is my favorite. I especially like how they have the apps only mode so you can only have the apps on the home screen that you actually use. It's a great feature. This is fine tuned by Google and you can tell because this thing runs buttery smooth. It has two gigabytes of RAM, eight gigabytes of internal storage. You can expand the internal storage but will likely need a more expensive USB hub as not every one will work. Now this of course runs all of the major platforms like Net Netflix, 4 4K and of course integrates the Google Assistant very nicely. This normally sells for $50, but they just dropped the price to $39.99, which also makes this a tremendous value. Now, if I could only choose one device, I think I would go with this one. I just like the 
the way it runs. It's so smooth. It's a reasonable price. I like the built-in Chromecast functionality. I like how the updates are coming directly from Google. I just enjoy using this one the most. And at $39.99, it serves as an unbelievable value. So next up is the Amazon Fire TV Cube second generation. So again, I prefer the Android TV and Google TV interface over the Fire OS interface, but that's going to be personal preference. The Fire TV Cube second gen is also extremely smooth and it gets so much positive praise and I can totally see why. Thanks in part to its upgraded specs compared to the 4K stick and the new 4K stick max. This comes with 16 gigabytes of internal storage and the ability to add more internal storage if you want. This has 2 gigabytes of RAM, but it runs a more powerful hexa-core CPU, which runs 2.2 gigahertz plus 1.9 gigahertz, so you're going to notice a very quick device. This is more of a hands-free device as it integrates Alexa very smoothly. This has Dolby Atmos and, of course, can use Netflix, Prime, YouTube, etc. It's very easy to set up. It constantly is raved about as one of the absolute best devices that Amazon sells for streaming. Now, this normally sells for $120, but you can currently pick this up for $79.99, which is an outstanding deal, and I highly recommend it. And finally, we have the king of the streaming devices, which is the NVIDIA Shield Pro. Now, if you ask most people what is the absolute best streaming device, they will often point to the NVIDIA Shield Pro. This uses the Tegra X1 Plus processor and gives you 3 gigabytes of RAM. It comes with 16 gigabytes of storage, which is expandable using a USB flash or hard drive. This has Bluetooth 5.0, Dolby Atmos, and it has a 4K AI enhanced upscaling feature, which is simply awesome. This will also have dual 3.0 USB ports. It has a gigabyte Ethernet LAN built in, which is definitely a bonus. This has fully Google certified. It's has built-in Chromecast. It has the Google Assistant. It runs 4K Netflix just fine. This runs the Android TV interface. Updates are going to come directly from NVIDIA. Now, if you look at any benchmark list, this will always come as number one in terms of benchmarks, power, speed, what have you. So although this is such an amazing device, I actually don't often recommend it due to its price point. It's $200. Many people that ask Ask me um, for a new device are looking to spend under $100, under $75. Now, the, it would definitely be one if you are looking for gaming or if price is not an issue. But if just streaming, many say this is overkill. It will give you the best stream. I mean, with that upscaling feature, it's going to give you the best stream without a doubt. But that gap in price may just be too much for many. Now, let me know in the comments if you have one and what you think about it. Also, do you think they're going to release a new version? Now, based on their two-year schedule, one would think they were going to release one in 2021, but here we are at the end of it. So maybe we're looking at 2022 for a brand new Shield. Now, I know some people would look at this list and wonder why I didn't add the Roku. Well, guys, I didn't add the Roku because you simply cannot add third-party apps. And for me, that's a deal breaker. And I know for many of you, that is also a deal breaker. Roku has a very strict, closed software platform. And until they change that, I will not have them on, the, on this list. Now, every single device that I listed today, you can easily add third-party apps to it. A few honorable mentions that I would like to point out would be the 2018 4k fire stick which you can pick up for $25 it comes with the new Alexa remote now it's a very solid streamer tons of people have it if you're just getting into streaming what a great buy at $25 another great device is the KM6 by me cool very solid performer Buzz TV has a few good devices as well. I've had a few issues with the software not updating or freezing or the remote control not working, and that's why I tend to keep it out of my top five. But overall, they have some very quality devices such as the VidStick Max, which is essentially like the Fire Stick on steroids, or their premium box called the XRS 4900, which is an absolute beast. Well, there you have it. There's the list of my favorite devices. Let us know what you think in the comments. Which device do you use and which device do you recommend? Thanks so much for joining us today and don't forget to hit that thumbs up and subscribe. We'll see you next time on Stream and Tech Now.